Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So during this quarantine, I've been baking a lot and I thought I would share some of those recipes with you. The applesauce cake recipe is so good. I was actually kind of surprised by it. My entire family loved it. And all these recipes are gluten-free as well. So let's just get into it. So here are all the ingredients you'll need for the applesauce cake. So first, we're going to start with the unsweetened applesauce. I couldn't find a jar of the applesauce, so I had to buy it in a pack with cups, and I measured it out to one cup. And I poured it into a large bowl. Then I added one large egg. Add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then melt a fourth cup of coconut oil and make sure it's cooled before you add it to the mixture. Add about half a cup of light brown sugar. And mix the wet ingredients all together. Then grab another bowl to combine all the dry ingredients. First, add one cup of oat flour. Then one teaspoon of baking soda. One fourth teaspoon of baking powder. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Three fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon. 1 4th teaspoon of allspice and 1 8th teaspoon of nutmeg and mix all those ingredients together. Now these next ingredients are optional but I added them in and everyone really liked them. So I added 1 4th cup of chopped pecans and 1 3rd cup of raisins. Then I added the dry ingredients into the big bowl with the wet ingredients and mixed it all together. Then transfer the batter into an 8x8 inch pan. And put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and be careful not to overbake. So now we're going to make the frosting. You're going to need two ounces of reduced fat cream cheese, softened to room temperature, and add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that together. Add 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Then add 1 and 3 4 cups of powdered sugar and mix that all together. Place your cooled cake on a plate and then frost it evenly. And I added some chopped pecans on top. And there you go. This cake was so good and I've already made it two more times since making this video. Next, I'm making gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, and here are all the ingredients you'll need. So you're going to take gluten-free flour, and my favorite is from Bob's Red Mill, and add two and one-fourth cups into a bowl. Add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. One teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of salt and whisk all that together. Now you're gonna set the bowl aside and grab another one and place two ounces of cream cheese softened to room temperature in that bowl. Then you're gonna take 3 fourths cup of unsalted butter and melt it and wait for it to cool and then add it to your bowl. 
you're going to add one cup of brown sugar. and half a cup of regular sugar. And then you're gonna mix that all together. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that in. And then add two egg yolks and mix it again. Now you're going to add your dry ingredients into the large bowl and mix everything together. And lastly, I'm going to add a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and mix it thoroughly. Now I'm going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least four hours. After four hours, I'm going to take it out and use an ice cream scooper to get the balls of dough and place it on a pan lined with parchment paper. Then I'm going to throw them in the oven at 375 degrees and let them bake for 7 to 9 minutes depending on how soft or crunchy you want your cookies. And here is the final product, some yummy gluten-free cookies. The last recipe is gluten-free banana bread, and here are all the ingredients you'll need. So I'm going to use the gluten-free flour again, and I'm going to pour two cups of it in a bowl. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of baking powder. and one fourth teaspoon of salt and mix it together and then set it aside. In another bowl, I'm going to add a half a cup of softened butter and half a cup of sugar and mix those two ingredients together. Next, I'm gonna take three ripe bananas and mash them so that I get about one and a half cups. Then I'm going to grab the bowl that has the butter and sugar and add two eggs. And then add two tablespoons of milk. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then pour in the mashed bananas. And mix all those ingredients together until they are well blended. Now I'm going to add in the dry ingredients and mix it in. Then I added a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then I poured the batter into a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan that was lined with parchment paper so that it would come out easier when it was done. And then I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. And here's the final product. This banana bread was so good and it didn't taste like it was gluten free at all. I hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to see more content from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!